I'm Lawrence Lane, and we're going to talk a little bit about barefoot doctoring. Uh, the first technique is scraping, also known as gua sha. And here's some typical tools that I use. This is a Chinese spoon. spoon. A lot of people find that interesting. And this is a uh, metal uh, instrument covered in rubber. And these are the two instruments I primarily use for, for gua sha. Okay, some of this should feel good. It's going to kind of create some red welts on your back here. sensitive place. How does that feel? It's a little tender in places. Uh-huh. You can see this side is not as is red, and of course the right side is the side where all the pain was on the right shoulder and the right mid back. It's hard to even get the red to rise up here. So that's washa. Next barefoot doctrine technique is called cupping. Cupping has been used for thousands of years in Chinese medicine. Cupping uses these cups sometimes made of glass. These are made of plastic. The version that we're using, you pump the air out of it. It creates a vacuum and pulls stagnation out of the body tissues. These cups I'm going to put on the back of our patient here. We have a little suction device which creates a vacuum. And voila, it sticks on the back like this. This is to draw out stagnation, what we call blood stagnation, cheese stagnation, which are principles of oriental healing. And this would be a typical arrangement on the back over here. Now this does not hurt, and it actually feels rather pleasant. The person usually feels very relaxed while we're doing this. This is done with fire to create a vacuum. But in this version, we're using a vacuum pump. And would you say this feels pretty good, Bill? Yeah, surprisingly. Okay. And we might leave this on for five minutes, ten minutes. You can see the flesh kind of beads up here. Some of this. These areas will turn kind of dark as the toxins, if you will, or the blood stagnation and, and the, all the other things rise to the surface and sometimes it looks like an octopus has been on the body for a few days. So that's, that's coming. The next barefoot doctor technique is plum blossom needle. This is a technique where a percussive instrument is used to tap along the meridians of acupuncture, also known as acupressure points and channels. Instead of using needles, this is what I use, which are reflexology tools. Very effective, and sometimes um, just as effective, if not more effective, than what are called plum blossom needles. We're going to use a wooden dowel tool we're going to tap along this meridian here and this is for tingling and numbness in the first three fingers. This hand here, do you feel that shooting down to your hand? I just feel the fingers getting numb. Okay. I don't feel any shooting at all. Yeah. Sometimes things have to get a little bit before they get better. It's 
Jesus Christ. Our next barefoot doctoring technique is moxibustion. Moxibustion is using the herb artemisia to burn along acupressure and acupuncture points on the body. In this instance, we have artemisia rolled into a cigar, and we're using it to build energy or tonify the body. We're going to demonstrate moxibustion on several acupuncture, acupressure points. To begin with, this is called the Don Tien, the conception vessel, also known as Ren 6. We're just going to hold the moxa stick over this point and heat. We'll go into the patient's body and begin to tonify the kidney adrenals, also known as the kidney yin and yang. So now we're going to moxa the governing vessel. And this area is called Du 4, Life Gate Fire, Ming Men. This is to tonify the kidney adrenals particularly what we call the kidney yang. For our next moxibunch demonstration, we're going to be moxing some general points around the knee for knee injury. And uh, the heat from this is sinking into the common quadriceps tendon. They can really feel it begin to move the blood and uh, the energy in the area. It's very healing. Also work a little bit above the knee and go back down below the knee. So that's very healing. 